Hi guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Quiet Control 30 from Bose. Let's check them out. Now, previously on the channel, we've reviewed the QC20i's and the QC20. So this is the QC20, which is the Android version, but there's also a 20i, which is for the iPhone. And you'll notice that it has a very similar styled um, earbud. Um, this is a active noise canceling headphone bar your earbud that requires you to have. Um, this power brick charge in order to be able to use um, the active noise, noise canceling. If the battery is dead, you could still use these earbuds. Uh, so this is one that one of my favorite. This is what I use a lot when I travel on business. And this version, the QC30, are, are similar, but they're different. First of all, you notice that the earbud is the same. Uh, but that's pretty much where it ends. Uh, this is a wrap around the neck style headphone that is going to go in your ear and has um, active noise canceling that is controllable. In other words, there is a little button on the remote that we're going to see in a couple seconds that you can use to adjust how much noise canceling is taking place. And you may ask yourself, why would you want to do that? Well, there are certain circumstances where you want to hear what's going around you. And many of us take off our earbuds when we want to talk to somebody. So this has a little control where you can adjust how quiet or how much it cancels versus how much you can hear. Uh, it is also 100% wireless. So unlike this model here, where you require this um, brick and then this plug, this version you'll be able to use uh, completely wireless. And it's really using the LG type style, which is a wrap around the neck style model. And we can see that uh, right here in the back. So you can see, and we'll try to zoom in so you can see that. Uh, it has the uh, wrap around style that was created uh, by LG. Uh, also, what you'll notice is that unlike uh, the previous versions where you have two specific versions, uh, the 20i and then the 20 without the i, this specific model supports the iPod, iPhone, iPad, but also Android, and pretty much any Bluetooth device. So if you think about your PC, if you think about if you have a Surface Book, a Surface uh, Tab, Pro, you're going to be able to connect this uh, and use it because as long as it's Bluetooth, it's going to work, and pretty much you're going to be able to support any uh, device that has Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, you'll notice here uh, the controls, and we're going to see that when we do the unboxing. This is where you have both the volume control and the ability to adjust the noise canceling feature. Let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Now, taking a closer look at some of the specs before we do the unboxing, um, I always get the question, will this work with an iPad? Will it work with an iPhone? Well, as you can see here, um, this has been designed for, made for, the iPod, iPhone, iPad, Android, and any Bluetooth uh, type device. So you'll be able to use this on a PC, you'll be able to use this on a Windows tablet, pretty much any device that supports uh, Bluetooth. You'll also notice that there are some controls here that we're going to see in a couple seconds. And as I mentioned though, um, earlier, it does use that um, style, um, or the neckband style that was uh, created by LG. They really set the standard when it came to kind of this neckband approach. But now what you have is a Bluetooth um, earbud that's connected to these cords that's completely wireless unlike the uh, previous version that I was showing you there. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing and see what's in the box. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. So we'll open this up. Here we have our headset take it out of here, you'll notice that it does not have any uh, retractable cords. The cords are relatively thick, so that's nice. Um, they're not magnetic either, so they don't stick to each other. So they'll just rest on your neck and just dangle. Um, I wish they were magnetic. That would have been nice if they connected, but they don't. Uh, you do have a control area here, and you can see that. You have multiple controls. We'll see what those are in a couple seconds. The feel is rubberized. Um, it's flexible, it doesn't seem that it's too hard, but it does have edges. Let's see if that comes out on camera. It feels that there is there is a sharp edge here, and I wonder why this wouldn't be smooth and round like the LG ones. Uh, but I feel a sharp edge here and a sharp edge here. We'll have to see how that fits. So that's the, the headset itself. Uh, inside the box, we'll also find that we have a carrying case. Very slim. I like that. You know, it's slim. This is slim, so this fits easy in a backpack. Extra gel, gel pieces right here. Um, another size right here, so it looks like you have a small, medium, and large. You can see that. Medium is installed. Micro USB uh, charging cable. Uh, you have your client satisfaction card, some Bose information for registration, and your user guide. 
So let's go ahead and talk about the specs just for a couple seconds. Uh, you get 10 hours of playback after charging this unit for 135 minutes. If you're in a bind and find that it just died on you, you can get with a 15 minute charge up to an hour of playback. Now the audio quality has been optimized, so it's very different from the 20i that I just showed you a couple seconds ago, or the, the, the 20s, the Q20s, where this uh, feature something that's called Volume Optimized EQ. So it's going to give you the best audio quality and playback of, um, of other models that you've seen, or older models um, from Bose or any other manufacturer. It does have dual mic, so if you want to use these for taking phone calls when you're out in an airport, or even if you're out for a jog, they say that the noise rejecting technology of the dual mics makes it very understandable when you're speaking in windy environments. So if you're in a windy environment, your voice can come out muffled because all you hear is the wind. They're saying that they've solved this with this uh, dual mic rejection technology. So we'll test that out as well. Uh, the other thing is that you can connect up to eight devices at, uh, to this, not all at the same time, but it has the memory to remember eight devices. And then uh, it also is, according to Bose, sweat and water resistant. Now, I specifically asked this question because it feels like it would be, but I wasn't really sure, so I sent them a message and asked them to tell me, could this be used in a gym or in a workout setting where you're doing some running and you're you know, going to be sweating? And they said absolutely that that's what this material has been created uh, to look like. And when I look at some of the ports and how things are constructed, it kind of lends you to believe that because the power switch, notice how it's sealed. So that makes you think that, hmm, they maybe put that into the design. You'll notice over here, this is where you put the micro USB charging port. It also is sealed. So I said, you know, let me ask. When I asked, I did get the positive response. But what I didn't get, and I asked again specifically, are they IP67 or IP68? And for those of you who don't know what those two are, it just uh, it communicates the degree of water resistance or waterproofness that it has. And I, I'm hoping that they come back and say IP68, because then that would make it even better. Um, that means you're running outside and you get into a torrential pour, you don't have to worry, versus a sprinkle or some sweat and you don't have to worry. So I really want to understand what kind of waterproofing um, or water resistance this specific um, headphone has. Now let's talk about overall comfort. Uh, I tried these on, I've been using them for a while now. I did uh, find that this is a little stiff. I really am not so much a fan of having something that is as, as stiff as this is. But what I found is after a while, um, you know, they're relatively comfortable. Uh, a lot of people are going to find them that they're very comfortable. I may be a little bit too harsh on them. The ear pieces themselves are absolutely fantastic. Remember, I showed you that I was using the uh, the the 20 version, the older version. I love these. You can wear these for hours without any stress, and it's no different with these either. These are extremely comfortable. And actually what I find is that the neck band coupled with this piece makes it very easy or balanced where you could go a you know full day with them on, 10 hours, and not really feel stressed. Uh, I tend to have, um, if I'm in a work environment, I tend to keep one earbud in and then the other one out just so I can hear what's going on, but you can definitely do that adjustment adjustment uh, with this piece and and we talked about during the kind of overview about how what set this uh, this unit apart from the others in the Bose line or its predecessors was the the noise cancellation control so these are your volume controls and right here what you have is your noise cancelling control so you can reduce it or increase it which means it's either going to let the no surrounding noise like if you're going to order some coffee it's going to allow that to be easily understood and you won't have to pop out the the earpiece uh, or you can increase it so this is going to give you a lot of flexibility now keep in mind these are 299 which is pretty high pretty expensive but what you're getting is Bose noise cancellation active noise cancellation and in my opinion having had multiple models of various brands and then also owning many Bose um, you know headphones I find that they are the leader and the best in the industry so you're really paying for that name recognition as well as also the technology because it's unparalleled to anything else that I've seen so now let's talk about audio quality uh, these do not disappoint. 
uh, very similar to uh, the ones that I have been showing throughout the review, I find that you get good bass, good mids, good highs. It's very rich. You, it's immersive, incredibly immersive because of the noise canceling. Both the passive, because once you stick this in your ear, you get passive noise cancellation and blocks things out. But then once you turn on the active, literally, um, I was in my bedroom in one of my tests. The TV was on, and I put these things on, and I wanted to listen to an audio book, and everything else the 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 noise in the room melted away literally disappeared and I was just like in my little world uh, listening as I was using this with my tablet I was uh, listening to some YouTube and again I was in doing my own thing my own zone and my wife had to kind of poke me when she wanted to talk to me because I just couldn't hear what was going on I've used these on planes as well and you know when you have the uh, unfortunate reality of maybe having some fussy children on the plane that it's their first trip um, or just they're just not feeling well uh, I love the fact that I can put these on push that noise canceling feature make sure that you know turn, turn on the headphones and then listen to music and everything melts away really good uh, noise canceling really good audio so now let's go ahead and focus on the app. Uh, so this is the uh, Bose Connect app. And as you can see right here, the Bose Connect app has uh, various settings inside of it. Um, you can name the headset. Uh, it will tell you when the auto off timer is there. So if there um, is inactivity, when do you want it to turn off? Right now it's set to an hour. I'd actually reduce that to maybe... Um, you know, tw uh, 20 minutes uh, so that you can uh, maintain your battery. Because keep in mind that while this has 10 hours of battery life, it's doing two things. It's maintaining a Bluetooth connection and the noise canceling is always on. So that's going to impact your battery life. So that's why I'm going to modify mine uh, to that. So after 20 minutes um, of non-use is going to do that. Now this app also, while it's not necessary, I do recommend it because it will basically look at the firmware that the um, headphones have and it's going to make sure that it's always up to date so the neat thing is that these are software upgradable uh, you do have voice prompts product details and then you have some product connection information there uh, very simple now this is the area that shows noise canceling and let's make sure that that comes out pretty clear uh, notice how it's basically showing this is how much noise is coming in from the outside oops and then the symbol next to it shows how much noise is actually coming in so the kind of filtering that's happening so as you move this it basically is going to illustrate how much noise is allowed based on the cancellation so in fact what you're doing is adjusting how much noise cancellation is uh, taking place now that is a manual way to do it again you don't need the software to do it because here on the control you have these two dials now watch this I'm going to press this dial and do it the other way you notice as I'm pressing the dial it's also reflective here on the app. So you can do the same features and functions that are available um, on the app. They can be controlled on the headphones themselves. Now uh, the overall um, features uh, are very limited on the app but I think that they're just enough so there isn't really any equalization any enhancements that you can make to the audio playback on the app itself. It really is about firmware, battery life and then also the adjustment that you see here. Now one other thing I wanted to mention about the overall wear. So um, I made a comment that I was concerned about the rough edges that existed uh, here in these areas and how it would fit on your neck. Um, I did not experience any discomfort by these edges whatsoever. So um, at first I was concerned that it would bite into my neck. That never happened. Uh, the other thing I will mention is that the and I don't know how they could work around this but um, one of my complaints is that the neck piece is unequally balanced and it tends to lean this way and it tends to lean this way as you're just walking uh, because of the weight that you have here so this piece adds more weight to the entire experience so it tends to lean this way and I've noticed that you know it wasn't happening like every couple seconds but I noticed that walking with it I would find myself adjusting and turning it this way because of the weight now understand that I did not have these uh, the actual earbuds in my ears during that time I had them just resting like this wearing this around my neck and I just continued to feel that it pulled down um, I even went to the extent that I tucked this into my shirt and let the the collar on uh, in an effort because I was concerned that it could fall off uh, it never happened but once again you'll you will notice that it will tilt to the side um, as you're using them now the last thing I wanted to share with you is price 
299. These are very, very expensive. They are, I would say, priced as you would expect the Bose line to be. Uh, they're very expensive at the 299 price point, so they're not going to be for everyone because of the actual cost. Are they worth the 299? Well, that's really a personal question that you need to ask yourself because if you're, you know, if you look at the Beats line, they're around that price. Uh, this is a, in my in my opinion, more of a business headset that's actually a sports headset because of the noise canceling features that it has. So overall, the price is, I think, a little bit too high. Uh, it makes these uh, pretty much not attainable by anyone who is looking for some reasonably priced um, headphones. There are other headphones on the market that you could buy, but you're not going to find any that have the kind of noise canceling that this um, headphone has. Uh, case in point, I actually was using these uh, while cutting grass. And I know that while I'm cutting grass, if I'm wearing um, these type of earbuds, one of the things that I notice is that the noise isolation on these are absolutely fantastic. That means not noise canceling, but as soon as you plug this in your ear, because of the seal that it creates, there's a noticeable difference. Like you literally have to take it off to have a reasonable conversation without yelling at someone. So I was with a lawnmower cutting grass and then at the same time listening to music, listening to an audiobook, and I didn't have to have the audiobook um, or the music music blasting in order to be able to enjoy it. Uh, it was at a normal sound. Now, keep in mind that I could still hear the lawnmower, but I could enjoy what I was listening to without it blasting in my ears. So really, really superior noise canceling as well as um, audio coming from this set, but at $299. So this concludes my review of the Quiet Control 30 um, headphones from Bose. Uh, Great uh, item to consider for the holidays if you can stomach the $299 price. If you have any comments or questions about the product, leave it below. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.